May the peace of the Lord be with you. Today is the first Sunday after Epiphany, the baptism of Christ. The connect reads, Creator God, our souls delight. Your voice thunders over the waters, liberating the future from the past. Speak your affirming word that you may share in the baptism of Jesus Christ. Drink from his cup and serve the world in his name. We live and reign with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 1, reading from verse 4. So John appeared in the desert, baptizing and preaching, Turn away from your sins and be baptized. He told the people, And God will forgive your sins. Many people from the province of Judea and the city of Jerusalem went out to hear John. They confessed their sins and he baptized them in the river Jordan. John wore clothes made of camel's hair with a leather belt round his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. He announced it to the people. The man who will come after me is much greater than I am. I'm not good enough even to bend down and untie his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Not long afterwards, Jesus came from Nazareth in the province of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. As soon as Jesus came out of the water, he saw heaven opening and the Spirit coming down on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my own dear son, I am pleased with you. This is the Gospel of Christ. I have never been in a desert except to see it on TV as a place which looks like a waste, a dry and hot. The wind is harsh with no hope of life at all, formless and desolate if I may use the words of Genesis chapter 1. We find in this gospel that Jesus Christ was baptized by John the Baptist. So Jesus here left his home and involuntarily came to be baptized by John. All this happened in the desert. If you read the first two verses of Mark chapter 1. The one I described desert as a place of no hope, place of darkness and a, a place of harsh weather as well. I'm reminded of, of, of the Israelites when they are crossing over the Jordan River. The Bible records that they were also in the desert. Through the water of the river of Jordan, they went to, to, to the promised land. What a lesson for us when it comes to baptism. Galatians chapter 3 verse 27 reads you were baptized into union with Christ and now you are clothed so to speak with the life of Christ himself so you are clothed with the life of Christ himself so baptism gives us a new life in Christ a life of belonging and walking with Christ a life of receiving the Holy Spirit of God I know in this pandemic of COVID we are in, some of us are emotionally and spiritually defeated. Some of us are emotionally and spiritually depressed. Some of us are emotionally and, 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 and spiritually drained. These may be your desert conditions. Let not such harsh experience makes you lose hope. The message conveyed by Mark 1 help us to recognize that in the desert is the beginning of good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. God bless Africa.